morning. It's Wednesday, May 5th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Sons of Zebedee, and our scripture is Matthew chapter 20. As Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside privately and told them what was going to happen to him. Listen, he said, we're going up to Jerusalem where the Son of Man will be betrayed to the leading priests and the teachers of religious law. They will sentence him to die. Then they will hand him over to the Romans to be mocked, flogged with a whip, and crucified. But on the third day he will be raised from the dead. Then the mother of James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came to Jesus with her sons. She knelt respectfully to ask a favor. What is your request? he asked. She replied, In your kingdom, please let my two sons sit in places of honor next to you, one on your right and the other on your left. But Jesus answered by saying to them, You don't know what you're asking. Are you able to drink from the bitter cup of suffering I'm about to drink? Oh yes, they replied, we are able. And Jesus told them, You will indeed drink from my bitter cup. But I have no right to say who will sit on my right or my left. My Father has prepared those places for the ones he's chosen. When the ten other disciples heard what James and John had asked, they were indignant. But Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers in this world lord it over their people, and officials flaunt their authority over those under them. But among you it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first among you must become your slave. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve others, and to give his life as a ransom for many. From our perspective on this side of the cross, there is nothing unexpected in what Jesus said. For James, John, and their mom, it turned everything on its ear. It wasn't odd, for instance, for an ambitious mother to ask a favor for sons, nor was it unusual for the sons to claim they were up to the task, and they probably deserved what their mother requested. What was odd, at least to the disciples at that moment, is that Jesus, the one they understood to be the next CEO of the world, said it wasn't within his power to select his vice presidents. And then the real bomb dropped. He told them if they wanted to reach the top in his organization, the boys had to start in the mailroom. That's right, go to the bottom, do the grunt work, and then just trust me. It was not exactly the expected insider treatment where knowing the right person at the top gets you special favors. But the most tragic part of this scene is the context. Jesus has just announced what was going to take place. Arrest, flogging, crucifixion, and death. And the sons of compassion start arguing about who's in control. And to make matters worse, Jesus corrected Mama Zebedee and her boys loud enough for the other ten disciples to hear. They throw a hissy fit, and the first church fight is on. And we've been messing up the stew ever since. Power, prestige, and the purse. Not much changes. Except somewhere in this messy mix called the church, there are disciples who get it. And when they get it, they also roll up their shirt sleeves and get their hands a little dirty and get the work of the kingdom done, proclaiming the good news, feeding some hungry kids, clothing the naked ones, visiting the lonely prisoners, and carrying plenty of cups of cold water in the name of God's Son. There are some who manage to figure out it's not about the position you hold, it's about the people you hold up. For you today, I recall a sermon Dr. Tony Campolo once preached. He called titles or testimonies. The whole point was, as a believer in Jesus, do you want to have people put you on a pedestal and say all sorts of nice things about you? Or do you want to have some real fruit of your labor to lay at Jesus' feet when it's your time? Do you want a position and a title? Or would you rather have the testimony of a faithful servant? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road.